Hi, this is Megan from Tactus Therapy. I'm going to show you how to use a website called Canva to create communication boards for people with aphasia. Canva is a really versatile design tool that you can be used for social media posts, creating posters, creating presentations, almost anything you want to design, you can design in Canva, which makes it a really good tool for designing communication boards. So I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to go to create a design and we're going to create a photo collage. So I have a Canva account. I have the pro account. You can use the free account. Um, if you use the free account, you're going to be a little limited on which photos and elements you can use. You can buy them individually or you can, for about $10 a month, have a pro account yourself. So I've gone into photo collage and I'm going to I'm going to use this template here that's free. It's called Start Your Day. So if it doesn't show up for you, you can always type that in. And here it is. And this is the template. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to select the words and delete them because I don't need those. I don't even need these green squares. And there's a kind of a cream colored background that I'm going to select and delete so that we have a plain white background. Now, I don't want these pictures for my communication board. I want other things. So I'm going to go into photos and I'm going to search, um, let's see, like toilet. And here's lots of different bathroom photos. Um, so you can pick one that resonates with you or your client. And it's going to put that picture on top of your collage. So then you just click it and drag it into one of those boxes and it'll snap in. Now it's just going to center in that box. And then let's see if we want maybe food, um, something that looks good for your client. Snap that into a box. Now we can copy that box and paste it. And it helps you line things up, put different things in it. If you don't want pictures, you can use um, icons. Now the icons aren't going to snap into the box, they're just going to go in blank spaces. But you can resize them. And then we're going to add text. So add a text element. Um, we'll just pick a nice clear font. Something like food. And then I can position that underneath my food. I can space these out. You can select multiple things, move them down. It's a really easy to use program once you get the hang of it. It helps you align things, center things. So I'm going to just center that under that picture. I can copy it, paste it, change the text. Okay, so you get the idea. It's really easy. I'm just going to go back out and show you one that I've spent a little bit more time on. And here we have all of the pictures that I've put into a communication board with all of the labels. And then I've just duplicated that using the duplicate page. And I've changed it to put icons if that's better for my client. I've just added some lines and I just found those in elements over here. You know, line, copy one of those out, change the size. There's so many tools that you can use to customize a board like this or like this or however, however many pictures you want um, you know, you, we can make this smaller and we can fit a lot more on the page. We can make it bigger and just have four or six or eight pictures. And then when you're done, you just hit the download button, download as PDF, and then you can print it out, laminate it, stick it in a page protector, um, whatever you want to do with it. But this is just a really simple way, a free way or a very low cost way of creating very customized communication boards for people with aphasia.